Hello, and welcome to another segment of Bench Warmers. Here again, talking about the Sabres. Who, I mean, every time we're talking about them, they're getting better, better. It seems like you know, uh, it's been a they had a good last couple games. Anyways, you want to kind of touch on the weekend they had and last Thursday? Well, yeah, Saturday they uh, beat the Flyers five nothing, which was kind of expected. Uh, Flyers are having a tough go of it. Haven't won a game so far with 20 losses and one marvelous tie on their record. But uh, they also beat Dryden on Thursday, which is sent a big message to a team that was kind of on the rise with a 7-2 win. So they kind of solidified themselves in fourth spot there. They're banging on the door for second just behind Schreiber. And they got a couple more games against the Flyers here to really make up some ground because those are pretty much gimme games. Let's face it, the Flyers are... Not exactly competitive yet. They're getting there a little bit because they got a new coach there. And, of course, David Novak, a former saver, is now their goaltender. But there will be some more growing pains before they're uh, winning some games. So uh, Sabres making some moves to solidify their roster going down the stretch. Uh, December 1st, the trade deadline. Now, it's not every, nothing's official yet for all the moves being made, but they have made some moves. You want to talk about that and potential moves they can make at the, right. I guess, 11th hour, we call it. <laughs> Well, yeah, the two that are guaranteed on the team for now is uh, Caleb Thunderchief, who came from the uh, Kindersley Clippers of the uh, Saskatchewan League. And he uh, he's an enforcer type, and he brings a physical presence that they're kind of lacking, and he's a big fighter. He's got a reputation for that. So I guess he was sorely needed, and he'll provide that role. And then, of course, they uh, traded Novak to make room for Kyle Rule, a goalie from the Ontario Junior League. And he's actually the grandson of the late John Ferguson. So there's a connection there. And there was a few NHL scouts uh, in the crowd at Saturday's game, potentially to watch him. I'm not sure exactly, but a couple from Ottawa Senators and uh, Dallas Stars. So that's interesting. And of course, the other move that everyone wants to know about, which has kind of been up in the air for, oh, let's face it, three weeks now, I would say, is Tyler Miller and where he's going to end up. And uh, Sabres are still in the mix. I, if I was a betting man, I'd probably lean towards the Bearcats at this, at this point in time. They've got a bit better offer on the table. And we'll see. He's flying into Thunder Bay as of December 2nd, so you'll probably be seeing that as of today, and there probably will be a deal done because the deadline was midnight yesterday. So uh, whichever team gets him is going to be in the running there for second and potentially first with the North Stars. All right, so, I mean, Miller trade has been a lot of drama, I guess, just uh, for the last few weeks. And with the, the new goalie, um, he kind of had, a, I guess, an easy an easy shout-out on, like we said, the, the Flyers aren't that great. Mm -hmm. So, um, Mitch, we're not going to see the Sabres in town for, I, I think, till the 20th. What's, uh, what's the next couple or few weeks like for them? Right. Well, they got the Flyers there for two games this weekend, which should help them along. And then they got another week break there, and then a two-game series in Schreiber on the weekend there as well. And one more road game, I believe, against Dryden. Don't quote me on that. But uh, it should be a pretty good stretch to make up some games because right now the North Stars are definitely solidified as the number one team with only one regulation loss on their record. And depending on who gets Miller, you'd have to say the Bearcats might be uh, right up there as well if they get him. But uh, I'd say the Sabres are the second best team right now. They've really showed that. They've beat the Bearcats three or four in a row. So uh, other than Fort William, it's, it's a toss-up. should be an interesting drive down the stretcher, though.